Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. My name is Amanda Fitzgerald and I am an independent stamping up demonstrator in Australia. So Sydney, Australia, welcome, welcome. If you're catching this, you are catching the replay, um, more than likely. So thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I hope you get something out of it and I hope you tune in to watch more. Um, yeah, so please uh, follow me on my business page, my Facebook business page. I do put lots of inspiration on there and um, lots of card making ideas and and all the things that are happening in stamping up that are worth taking advantage of so yeah um let me know if you're watching if you're catching this live you will see the live symbol up the top whichever corner it is i think left hand i can't remember um be sure to say hello and let me know where you're watching from. That'd be awesome because I like to see that I have some people along watching. So tonight I'm going to open my box. I actually got a delivery this week and I haven't had a chance to open it. And I was going to open it last night, but we decided to go see a movie. So we went and saw um, Elementary last night. So that was a, a good little good little movie. Um, so it was a nice movie to watch with the family. Um, so I'm in my craft room tonight. So I thought, why not? Well, I want to open my box. So I may as well open it with you guys. Um, and then we're going to play with what's in the box. So that's pretty exciting. Hey, Martha, how are you? Thanks for joining. Um, of course, it's always hard to see on this little camera. What else is happening? Oh, Stamping Up have that amazing offer to still with that starter kit. So I have had some people contact me and and want want to actually join as a demonstrator which is awesome um and it, it, it's always a great time to join stamping up however at the moment with the uh deal that they have on it's an even sweeter deal so we might even discuss that a little bit later on but well worth taking advantage of um and joining my team is, is enjoy joining the stamping up community in general but joining my team is awesome you get access to um a private facebook group that i run for my team and we get together on a zoom so it doesn't matter where you are in australia you can join my team most of my um if not all <laughs> of my card making and team things are on zoom so that happens once a month and you can either either come along to the live version like be on the zoom call with us or you can watch it as a replay for some more card making demonstrations but there's that and then also we're part of a, a wider team so i'm actually running with um some other demonstrators that are part of the the wider team that you will become part of which you'll also have access to their facebook group hey marilyn how are you yes <laughs> lovely to see you and thank you so much for that little emoji i love that on my page um I think it was last night um, when I was going out with the family. Yes, yeah, so you'll be part of uh, you part of that bigger group, uh, which we're doing a for our first team retreat, um, which is actually happening in Western Sydney. Um, so there will be a in person component of it, but there'll also be an online component. So if you join, especially if you join with this amazing deal at the moment with the two two hundred eighty three dollars worth of product. For $169 so that's $114 worth of free product so it's well worth joining as a demonstrator before um, the end of June but yes if you join then you can come to my team retreat um, that I am doing with some other, uh, some other lovely demonstrators which will be awesome um, I am really looking forward to it so that is in August so um, but like I say best time to join is now um, we also have a designer series paper sale. So if you don't have a current demonstrator and you would love a catalog, um, I can get you out this beautiful catalog. I have sent about three this week to some um, some lovely people out there because, like I say, it is absolutely beautiful to look through this catalog. Um, what does one lady say to me? She was drooling over the catalog, yes, which I drool all the time over it um, and was so happy to get my, my box um, yeah, so that we have a designer series paper sale on at the moment. So designer series papers start in the catalogue on page 128 if you've got it. If you don't have a paper catalogue, you've got to get one. Um, hey Lisa, how are you? Hey Dimity. Um, apologies if I've missed a comment because it's quite small on my um, I, on my phone. Um you need a paper catalogue because they're they're awesome. But you can also go to the on, on my online store. 
You can see a digital catalogue in there if you go to the bottom of the website. But also, if you go to the menu at the top left-hand side of the screen, um, you can search through sales and um, search through products, um, designer series paper or sweets or um, sweets of products or stamp sets, whichever. There's lots of ways to search in the online store. It's very similar to any other online store you kind of shop with where you pick your things and you add them to cart. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, and I was actually showing a lady the other day that um, even if you're looking for a certain sentiment, like say you want one that says thinking of you, um, you can actually type that in the search bar up the top. If you type in thinking of you, because um, this is the first time I've tested it, <laughs> um, type in thinking of you, uh, it will actually bring up all the stamp sets and possibly anything else <laughs> that has to do with thinking of you. So um, it's a good way if you need a certain sentiment, um, then you'll see the stamp sets that have that in, whether it be happy birthday or if you're needing to make some wedding cards or sympathy cards um, or thank you cards. Um, you could type that in and see uh, what stamp sets there is available with that on. I'm just going to, hey, hey, Bev. Um, and hey, Lisa. I think I said hello to Lisa, but I'll say hello again. <laughs> thank you for joining me. Yes, so designer series paper sale. So if you do have a catalogue, starts on page 128. Not all of the designer series papers are on sale. However, there's about 12, maybe 15. Don't mark me on. I was going to look at the um, thing on the website before I come live and I didn't have a chance because I was actually making a birthday card. Um, so yeah, so lots of the designer series paper at 15% off. Now, if you're a demonstrator, you get your discount on top of that. So you're looking at 35% off your papers. So it is a great time to grab your papers. Um, some beautiful designer series paper. This one in particular, I it's on my wish list. I posted um, some pictures today of some cards made with it. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. I, I kept seeing it and... But anyway, the cards that I posted today, I thought that's it. I, I must get that, must get that set. So um, I will be ordering that one next week. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, so like I say, designer series paper sale, which is awesome for the month of June. And that starter kit, I can't stress how great um, that starter kit is. And people get worried. They go, oh, I don't want to join Stamping Up. You know, I'm in contract. They're going to hassle me to sell. They're going to hassle me for all these kind of things. Uh, I have a team that have really joined just to get their discount off their crafting supplies. Um, hobby demos, purchasing for themselves. Um, and you can do that. The only thing is there is a quarterly minimum. Um, which works out to be about $126 a month. But if you spend more one month, then that will um, go into the next month. Like it's over three months. Um, and then once that three months ends, then if you've made your quarterly minimum, then you remain active into the next three months. And if you haven't made it, and that's what I'm here to help you through, then I'll let you know, oh, you know, you're, you're falling short. If you want to still remain active, then you can put another order in. Um, or you, if it's something that you, you joined and you find that you don't want to do it anymore, then um, you just be, you just drop and you go back to being a customer, a customer. Of mine which is which is awesome as well because I love to look after my customers and my team so it, there's no locking contracts um, believe me you don't have to sell I just choose to do this because I want to um, it's something I enjoy um, but you don't have to do anything of the sort if you do want to turn it into a little business um, then they give you all the business supplies as well so they all come with what they call the starter kit um, and you can, you, you get all those for free anyway. Um, but people always get daunted by the fact that it's called a starter kit. It, it's not predetermined. Um, it is fully customizable. So you actually pick $283 worth of product that you want. Um, and then you get it for $169 at the moment. And, and that's free post. So it's kind of like your first order with Stamping Up. Um, and then any of your orders after that, you get 20% off. So it's a bargain. All right, I think I have chatted enough. Please contact me if you any have any questions. Please don't hesitate to um, to holler out and um, I will, will help you for sure. Okay, let's get into this box. 
So I'll just put that over here and that over here and we will flip you up to the other camera. See you soon. And, well, I have I flipped. <laughs> I think I pressed that too many times. Now. Sorry if that's a little bit annoying. But I just have to move the camera down a little bit, I think. Otherwise, when I'm crafting, you won't see what I'm doing. All right, and we'll get my iPad up. We'll get the box. So this is my... Um, my Stamping Up website, amandafitzgerald.stampingup.net. I also do put lots of links on my business page. Um, so you can click on one of those links and that will take you directly to my online store as well. Um, and then if you would like to join my team, don't hesitate to even look through my business page because there is links to join with join my team via stamping up or I can send you a link if you contact me and that might make it a little bit easier for you either way like I say I'll help you out all right let's get into this box or also if you do if you would like to place an order and it's over fifty dollars I will actually send you out a free thank you gift every order gets a card um, but if you spend over fifty dollars you will get a little thank you gift from me as well because um, that's just what I like to do I'm just checking to see if I've missed any more comments. I don't think so. All right, here's my box. So we'll get us some scissors. <clears throat> I actually found all my scissors. I've got lots of them in my room now. They've all come back. Okay. Chuck them down there. Oops. Okay. All right. I have a card making kit, which is what we're doing tonight. Spoiler alert, it's the first thing in my box. We're, I'm going to do the Boho Beach kit because I have been dying to do this kit. And I have people also, also ask me, do you do kits? Like, do you, not kits, do you do um, cards in the mail? Like, um, create cards for other people to make luck with instructions. I don't at this stage. It's not something I'm doing at this stage. However, I always say Stamping Up have these awesome card making kits. So again, they're on the online store under kits and they you wait and see it till later. They have everything you need in there to actually create cards. So I actually got a few Stamping Arm blends. So these are the awesome one of the coloring tools that stamping up sell so these are the stampin up blends so these are alcohol alcohol markers um, and when you purchase them you get a dark and a light so this is one of the new colors sorry returning colors i should say it's called um lost lagoon yeah lost lagoon so i i like to get a blend in my order every now and again especially just to try and get all the colors i bought some night and navy night of navy some night of navy um cardstock because i was running a bit low when i was doing some crafting the other day so i'll stick that in my little pile over there and basic black um i needed some new basic black so i also got that one as well um what else have i got in my box oh i did i treated myself to some patchwork pieces dies now these are very interesting so i'll have to have a go of these soon i'm actually just thinking i should have done a birthday card that i was doing tonight with these it, they would they work very well with the designer series paper sale that's on these um dies i'm thinking of it in my head okay so here they are here so what they actually do is they cut and emboss um like sort of like a patchwork quilt um on your card base so yeah it looks really really effective i don't know whether um let me see if i can find it in the catalog but i'll, I'll i'm gonna make some cards with with them soon i am sure but here they are here so they actually so all the dies are in the back of this cat in the back of the catalog and then if you go to the actual in particular the die that you're looking for it'll actually see these dies in use on page 55 so we'll go to page 55 and this is where very often i always say i get a lot of my card making ideas out out of 
is this very this very catalog so see here how they've used designer series paper and they've just used this die and then they put it on the paper how effective is that and then you can do whatever you want to do on the front um, and there's the other one over here where they've embossed a piece of cardstock and then they've chopped chopped cut and embossed using um, cut and emboss machine that's another and I think I mentioned it last time I went live if you're thinking if you are wanting a new cut and emboss machine now is a perfect time to get it in in a starter kit order because uh, you you can you can get you can get it as part of your starter kit and you're going to pay a lot less for it so it is a good time to do that so that's all I'm looking forward to using that die so there's that one okay whoops oh yep I'm trying to do it one-handed and one hand it's just not going to happen because it's stuck and it's just not moving okay all right and then I have ah I bought this one for some boys cards so I'm looking forward to using this one. I saw a card today made with it and I loved it. But yeah, happy birthday, achievement unlocked, leveled up. So when it feels like game over, always choose to play again. I like that. But yeah, a good one for um, boys, teenage boys, gaming. Awesome idea. I like that one. I bought some uh, decorative masks. So they're the new masks. Uh, that stamping up have got in their catalog so the masks are really cool as well they I don't know where they are in the catalog to be honest <laughs> that's probably why it's taken me a while to order them because I um, let me see if I can find them yeah here we go so they're they're on page 136 and I don't know where you can actually see a card in action, but they do this when you, you can use blending brushes and there's some masks down here as well um, where you can use the blending brushes and do a background. So you can do these beautiful backgrounds. So they have two different masks that you can do that with, but I bought one of them, the, the four square. Oh, and there we go. That's my box. So mainly I did my order for... The Boho Beach Kit. So let's get into that baby right up. Oops. We'll keep on. Let's put another glue dot on that so I don't keep knocking it. So here is how a kit comes. So has anyone else got any new products lately that they're loving? Um, yeah, anyone crafting? Let's kit together. <laughs> has anyone bought a kit lately? So this one, if you're interested in this kit, it's called the Boho Beach Kit. Um, and the item number is 162418. So, all right. All right, so then they all come in these uh, same these all these the same boxes. They all come in the same boxes. Yep, that's it. And you get an ink, an ink spot. Oh, uh, your stamp set. So you get like the good thing about these kits is they're awesome because there's everything here to make your cards. So there's everything I think to make eight cards, but we'll have a look at the instructions. All you probably do need is the paper snips. So if you haven't got yourself a nice pair of scissors um, for crafting, these are awesome. And they're called the, the paper snips and they're great for like cutting images out. Um, they work like really well. Probably shouldn't be using them on cutting uh, open this, but. I am. So you get everything in this nice little package and it actually 
comes with a piece of card as well like so you can use this to lean on I very often take these away with me very often and I do them um, if I'm away with work or I go away with the kids and the family I usually sit down of an evening and do them while I'm watching TV so it comes um, with all the instructions that you'll need um, to make let me tell you how many cards Two different designs. Is it two different designs? We're learning together. Uh, uh, contains supplies for eight cards and eight envelopes. And the, I'm pretty sure there's two, yeah, four of each card. That's right. Here we go on the front, four of each card. Um, so one says, enjoy your day and sit back and relax. Um, it also, on the back here, you can scan... Uh, this little QR code um, and it will give you some videos to watch. Uh, I think one's kind of learn stamping basics, which I'm going to show you anyway. Um, and then watch detailed instructions for the kit um, when you scan the QR code. It also gives you some um, coordinating colours. So can't wait for yours. Yeah, I'm tagging my pens. Oh, awesome. Okay, your blenders. Awesome. Okay, yeah, um, it tells you the coordinating colours. So coordinating colours are Crumb Cake, Lost Lagoon, Pecan Pie, Pool Party and Wild Wheat. So because you can sometimes, what, um, and I will do it too. I usually make um, a few of the ones. In fact, I probably will be making them all like this because um, I have some... Some thank you cards to actually send out, but I'm going to do them as this and then put the thank you inside. Um, yeah, so, but you can change them. So if you use those coordinating colours, you could actually make it, make some variations of the cards if you had some of those coordinating colours. But the good part about it is if you buy one of these kits, you've got the ink that you can use later on. You've got the stamp set that you can use later on. They give you a block that you can use. Um, they are, you know, giving you all your, your, your adhesives, your ribbon, um, our instructions. We have our uh, the envelopes. They're really pretty. Whoops. Um, yeah, the envelopes. Um, and they, it's all kind of like it's it's definitely a blue bluish color. It's obviously the pool party, so it's very much. Um, here's where's our pool party? No, that's Bermuda Bay. I'm just gonna see if I can pull out pool party. Uh, can I? Yeah, of course it's under that one, isn't it? Yeah, here's the pool party. So it's very much that pool palette, pool party color. All right, and then we have the card bases. which are here. So that's one, two, three, four of that base. Um, you have all the little dies, the die cutouts that are already pre-cut for you. So just ready for you to pop them out. Then that has that beautiful, which is kind of a crumb cake come pecan pie color. Um, and then you've got all these for your, to do your sentiments on like your words and then some more, um, more die cuts out there and then some more these are actual sticky dots so I'll show you how to use those as well all right let's give it a go so I would use this as my little my little leaning pad why not um, I'll just make sure I'm in the camera of course that is ow I just fit my nail back ah, that really hurt What colour? Oh, it is pecan pie. So it's one of the new ones. Sam, how are you? Um, yeah, so it's this one here. The new colour pecan pie. I love it. And the cardstock, because a lot of the new colours that they've brought out are really um, neutral. So that's the awesome new colour. Yeah, pecan pie. I love it. It's so nice. There you go. Just put that one back and my iPad's in the way tonight. That's all right. We'll put that bigger one back. Actually, I might use the big one. I will no, I'll use the little one so you can see how it all works. I'll even use the stamp set. 
Okay, so we'll just, um, there is a little, what would you call it, perforated line there. But I usually, actually if I stick my fingernail in there, no, I usually use scissors just to chop that, just to get it started. There we go, and then it will pop off. So, and I'll just, I might even just, I'll just chop that off because otherwise it's hard to seal it properly. All right. And then I'll cover it back up again because I'll end up putting my hand in it. Okay, so we're going to grab these instructions and we're going to make card number one first. Now it even has a little ruler along here, so um, inches and then centimetres for you to measure your ribbon out. So here is card number one right here. So it tells you what you need. Flip that back that way. And we'll put that over there. So first it's telling you to grab your block and grab your stamp set and put this one here. So you just match the stamp. This is an awesome way if you've been thinking of giving stamping a go. This is this is the way to give it a go. Now Stamping up cell, um, oops. Um, just to, you need to, one thing I do recommend too is to make sure you get, when you ink, when you ink these stamps up, make sure you give them a clean. Don't leave the ink on them because they, if you look after them and just, look, what, what I want to say, <coughs> it's easy to look after them because stamping up actually sell this um, chamois and they're not too dear. This one looks like it's, been well, well it has been well used there's nothing but just water on this so yeah all you need to do is just give them a good clean um, and I always give them a clean when they're brand new as well and let them dry off put them back in your little packet and you're good to go so it's saying we're going to grab this card so this card here now these are pre-scored so you just fold it um, and I'll just use my my scorer because I have it there. The, the scoring, the bone folder, it's called a bone folder, that will just make your card lie flat. So, which really, have it like that. And it's saying to stamp, to stamp that little image down on the card. So if we ink this up, This is a good stamp set um, to have as well. So we're just going to stamp that image on there. There we go. And then we'll clean that one. And then what you do is you just take that off your block, put that back on your sheet, and then grab your next one, which is telling you here it's this like sand kind of. So I'll give that one a clean again because it is new and just stamp that off on there and then we will get some more ink and it's telling us just to put along here that's probably shining but just to put some of this stamp image <gasps> nearly dropped the ink on the bottom here so we'll just go like that this one you could actually do as much as you want or as little as you want so I might just do another one down there there we go so it's just putting a little bit more of some darker sand and then leaving our ink open so we're just going to put that card aside oh hang on we'll clean our clean our stamp like that and um, we want to enjoy your day we want you to enjoy your day <laughs> Or enjoy your night. Um, so we'll take that one out. And I'm certainly going to enjoy my night because I am having a good good time in here tonight. I was actually fortunate enough. I had a bit of allergy sinus. So if you follow me, you probably hear that I have that kind of thing all the time. Um, and I took an allergy tablet and it knocked me off to sleep. So I had a sleep this afternoon, so I'm good to go. So we pull one of those out and we lay that down like that. 
and then we ink our stamp up. Now, with the words, you want to make sure that it, that it works. So, very beachy feel. I know, isn't it nice? In, it's winter here in um, Australia, so having a beachy feel is making me feel a little bit warmer than it actually is. So, you can test on this piece of cardboard that they give you as well. I always find that's good, especially if I have this kit and I take it with me somewhere, whether I take it to where... Uh, you know, I'm doing sport events with the kids or um, the other day the kids went to a um, like a play thing um, and I sat in the cafe and did, did some, I did a card kit. So I've got somewhere to lean on and I can also use it um, to test my, my ink and my stamps. Because sometimes um, when they're brand new, they may not stamp first time perfect so you can test it there so there's enjoy your day and you can also use it to just clean off your ink as well but like I say I do recommend to clean them you could just clean them possibly with some baby wipes and that as well um, but you could treat yourself to one of those chamois so now going back to the instructions we have done all our stamping so now we're going to put the card together because it's actually saying um, that it wants you to get the umbrella. So we will find, just put the stamp set up there. It wants you to get the umbrella and they're not the umbrella, but these are the leaves. So I want you to get two of these or one, sorry, these are one. It looks like one with two branches. I thought it was two, but it's only one. So we'll get that one out and they're really delicate. So just pull them quite gently. And then we want one of these ones, one of them ones, yep, one of the big ones. Um, and then uh, one of the umbrellas. I like these umbrellas, they're cool. Super cool. You could colour this umbrella in, you know. I, we could blend brush this. <laughs> I better not do it for this one, but you could. Love the DSP. Well, no, this is not actually, Jenny, this is not actually DSP. It's um, it's actually a card making kit. So they're actual full cards ready to go for you. Eight of them in the pack. So, which I think is pretty cool. Um, okay, so we get our card back, which we've stamped on. Um, and we're going to lay it this way. And it's telling us to put, okay, so it's telling us on the back of our little die cuts here so I'm going to turn them all over it's telling us to put some of these little glue dots so that's what this one here refers to is the little glue dots and I'll show you the other the difference um, of the other ones so you just pull them off and stick them on the back there now very often um, you're, if, you're, if you're a crafter and you have glue or you have glue dots or you have tear and tape, um, you don't have to necessarily use the adhesive that's in the pack. Um, may as well. <laughs> but you, you can use your own adhesive as well. Um, sometimes I do just grab my glue out. Um, and it actually tells you where to stick them, but I'm not paying attention to that. I'm just, um, whoop, hang on, that one's on my finger. I'll put that on there and we'll just push that one away. And I very often, I can't recommend enough my little picker tool. So I'm going to use it, guys. It doesn't come with the kit, but it's a great accessory. Take your pick tool. You will see me use it all the time in all of my demonstrations. So this is, I'm just going to pop these... I don't know what you would call them, paper, paper off the glue dots, off here. And I'm just going to leave them on the sheet like that. See how I can just stick this take your pick tool in there and it just, usually I, I actually stick them straight in the bin, but these are a little bit thicker than the, oh, I thought that didn't just put my handle in the ink, but I don't think it's got the ink. So there we go. And then um, we grab the card back. And then I'm just following this picture here to where I put 
the things. So I would put this one down first. And it goes about there. And then we can put, whoops, oh, I just stuck my umbrella on the other side. Special, special. Um, then we would put the umbrella down. Seems how it's so ready to be put down. So I'd put that there. And then this one here would go um, on here. So kind of it kind of covers everything up that you've put on there. So there we go. Um, and then, so I'm just going to tip those in the bin. An easy way to get rid of them. And then we want to do our sentiment. So down the bottom here, it's telling you to cut 30.5 centimetres. Okay, so if you haven't got a ruler, get the instruction sheet out. And it goes, it goes to, it goes, from, it goes up to 22 centimetres. So in my head, what I'll do is I'll do two 15s. So proud of myself. Sometimes I can't do maths. So we just find the end and we go 15 and 15. They will always give you enough. So don't worry if you're not spot on. And I've lost a pair of scissors already. So I'm going to grab my other pair out. <laughs> They'll probably just be under here, but we've got another pair going now. There we go. So put that over there. So that's our ribbon or our twine. And then it wants you to get your sentiment, turn it over. And these little hexagon, uh, what, what Stamping Up calls dimensionals. So we're going to stick them on the back. So these are actually an adhesive that gives you a bit of lift. So they're, they're um, thicker than the other ones, obviously, a lot thicker. So they want you to put that down like that. So it's actually showing you that you've got your twine and then um, placing them down. And then we're going to take, here's my take a pick tool, it's easier. We're just going to pop them off, see how I can do that. Huh. And then just chuck them in the middle. Very handy, I oh know it's so handy, um, Sam. Love my tool, love the tool. So then it's telling you to do kind of like a bow. Let's see if I can do what they've done. So you're going to start it. Start there. And I'm actually going to put it on that dimensional just to hold it. And then you're going to wrap that one around and go back over and put that there. And then come back around again and put that there. So you've got just like a little swirl of that ribbon keep saying ribbon but it's actually twine um, under there and then it's showing you to put it just near that leaf so we're going to put it down and we're going to cover that leaf up a little bit and just like that and then you can actually just move the ribbon to where you want to do it, where, where you want it to sit just like that so it's just a little bit of a you hate, I, I love using twine. I, I, I'm not that great with ribbon. <laughs> I think I have my moments with both Sam. So cool. So there you go. And then you obviously fold this envelope and there you have a card ready to go to someone. How, co how cool is that? I love that. All right, let's make the next one. Okay, so our next one is, where is it? Um, card number two, this one here, and here's card number two instructions. So, oops. We'll put that over here. We'll take, I didn't take this stamp off, so we'll just take this stamp off the block. And what are we, what are we doing first? It's saying, it's saying the same. So it wants you to do that leaf. Oh no, that was a, this is a different leaf. So this is a different leaf, yeah. So this leaf. So we'll place that on the block. Sometimes with um, these photopolymer, they can, to make sure that you lie it flat on the block, you can put it down like that, face down, and bring your block to the um, the stamp. And that way it li lies flat. Yeah, sure, you can. Of course you can, Sam. I'd love you to share it. 
I would be happy for anyone to share this video um, with their friends and family because um, I think anyone can get enjoyment out of card making and these kits honestly um, even if you go on the online store um, there is this there is a kit for everybody um, they're really really cool and then you've got the other things to keep in your stash so yes please Sam share a like ribbon is better <laughs> We could have that debate, couldn't we? Ribbon, twine, ribbon, twine. You'll definitely see I'm a ribbon. I'm a twine person. Yep. But I do use ribbon as well. I do like I do like ribbon as well. Um, okay, so we've got that leaf on there. We're going to get this card base um, and place that down. And we're going to stamp this leaf. So we will get the ink again and we will ink it up. I forgot to clean this one, but we'll go with it because I'm too busy talking. It probably will be fine. It's just sometimes, the only thing is, is sometimes I'm going to test it on the cardboard. Sometimes they have a little bit of oil or residue just left over from the um, manufacturing process. So something they can't afford. I was wondering how this kit looks like. Yep. So, yep, there we go. I'm showing you because <laughs> I couldn't wait to do it. So I thought, oh, I'm going to do this one live tonight because I want to make these. I'm in the middle of making a thank you card that I do need to make. But otherwise, I'm doing eight of these. So four each of these. And this will get some thank you cards done that I need to send to some people. So, so that's that there. And then we grab this back. And it looks like this one is being done on the horizontal actually let's have a look back and you can always look back at the photo on the front so yes it is horizontal so it kind of looks like that but you could do it however you wanted to but we'll do it this way and I am going to just use my bone folder to run across there so then our stamp is going to go oh it's a little bit a little bit dried there you could huff on it but I'm just going to add some more ink If it dries out of it, you could go oh, like that as well. <laughs> Either or. So then we'll just place that there and put that like that. And then we'll give that one a clean. I am just going to rearrange. Let's see for a second. There we go. Must be careful with my, my back. <laughs> um, so we've stamped that one there. And then it's time to get back to our instructions. Here we go. So we'll put that one back and then we're going to get the dirt. The dirt. It could be used as dirt, it could be used as stair sands, it could be used as spots in like night sky. So trust me, you can use these stamps again for different things. So it's just saying to put some of this extra sand. We're gonna call it sand. Wherever you want really, but you can kind of match where they put it if you're not feeling confident to kind of put it yourself somewhere so I would just put two like that I might even go one more of one down there yeah I like that so we'll close that I always close my ink up because I have on many occasions stuck either my hand in there or my last live I stuck an envelope in there <laughs> so there we go all right Oh, thank you, Sam, for sharing. That's lovely. I need to get this kit. Yeah, it's cool. Eh? I like it. Um, so we've done that. And then it wants us to get the sit back and relax. I like that. I like that sentiment. Sit back and relax. So we'll place that one down like that. And again, bring the block to it. Like that. And that gives you your stamp. And then I'm just going to give it a bit of a clean on that chamois. So that's just the, like I say, it just has water on it. And then we're going to get out of our little stash of die cuts that come with it. Is this one here. And we place that there. And we will stamp that image out. And again, I might just give it a little bit of a test on my cardboard. Like that. And it looks good. Sit back and relax. I like that. And then just 
take them in. Good. All right. So we've got our sentiment. So we'll put that up there. And then it's telling us to get um, this leaf. I'm actually thinking of one of my lovely ladies on my team who loves um, greenery and stuff. And I think she's already said that she likes this kit. So she would know who I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I was just talking to her earlier early this evening. Um, so that's that one. And then we grab one of these. So I'm assuming, I don't know whether I've used the right ones on the other project. I've actually got two of those out. Um, but I've got, I'm going to use the little one. I'm, I'm pretty sure that looks like a big one. But I'm going to use the little one. Yeah, well, we'll get it to sit behind that chair somehow. So that's it. And then, okay, so we're going to put them down. So we turn them over. And we grab the little blue dots. And we place them on. It, it tells you where to put them. But if you're happy, that they will give you extras. So by all means, you can use a little bit more on each of them than they actually say. Like this. I would normally, because I'm a picker tool girl, I would get my get them off with the picker tool. But I wanted to show you how to do it if you haven't got your take a pick tool. Um. And then, like I say, I'm not going to try and get them off with my nails. I'm going to get them off with my take a pick tool. And because I find it very easy to do it this way. And they go straight in the bin. All right. So then we will place one leaf here and the other one over here. So we've matched this picture up here and then we're going to go down to here and it says we need 17.8. I wouldn't even worry about your point eight, guys. I would just go 17 so or even 18 and chop that off. So then we've got our twine and it wants you to wrap the twine around this sentiment. So I would grab, well, it's actually telling you to put a dot. So we will put a dot, a glue dot, Whoop. a glue dot on the back here and take the top off. So your glue, your glue dot is exposed. Wasn't me, Ben. <laughs> no, it wasn't you, Ben. <laughs> That's funny. It's not really green. But yes, it's not you with leaves in that. No, this kid's not green, but yes, no, definitely not. I would not do that to you, Bev. And then it's just saying, you, I, I actually do this very often with my cards, wrap, wrapping this around here, and I would do it as many times as you like. There we go. And I'll make sure that kind of, well, you can get another glue dot there, and um, it doesn't say that on there, but it will, um, Oops, it'll stick that down so if you put that like that oh and it'll go down like that yeah yeah they kind of crisscross it but I haven't crisscrossed that so that's cool um, and then we need our chair I like these chairs love 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 these chairs um, and then we put our glue dots on our chairs chair one because there's not two well there is more than one but only one for each project oh i've left that glue dot behind so that can stay there so like i say they will give you more if you stuff some of them up as well um but i highly recommend our tombow glue our multi-purpose glue this is awesome to get you not only need a tiny little bit a tiny little bit goes a long way. So then we'll get these tops off. So just think if you was 
thinking of joining Stamping Up, imagine the card kits you could get, to, or even just get yourself a card kit to go in your in your starter kit order. That's something you could put in there. You could put a glue. You could put a take your pick tool. Um, you know anything you want. I just, I broke that chair, but that's all right. We'll hide that. How did I manage to do that? I might just grab a glue dot, and we'll just move that so that it um, sticks that together. All right. So we've got our chair. So it's telling us to put our. Oh, I put. I will make this work. I think I put. Oh, my, I think my ribbon was supposed to go at the end there. Oh, I put my sentiment the wrong way. See what I've done? The little dotted line. The sentiment should have been that way. But that's okay. We'll make it work. <laughs> I'm doing an alternative without even think. I hadn't planned to do an alternative, but I have. So we'll, we're going to do this a little bit different. We're going to put... Okay, so we're going to... Um, it's saying to use the... The, what we call dimensionals but this is just like foam mounting tape so we'll put them down like that and that will go um, we're going to put that there because the chair is actually going to go over the other side this time so that can go there and then our chair whoops is stuck to our our chair I'm going to put here. A little bit different, but still looks still looks pretty cool, hey. I would just use my own glue dots, not the ones provided yet. I hear you, Sam. But then I think to myself, I need to use those other ones just to use them. But yeah, if you're a person that has the bigger glue dots, these are the bigger glue dots that Stamping Up sell. Um, they're quite quite cool <laughs> they're a lot, lot less fiddly fiddly than the ones in the kits so there we go there's another one so that's two cards that I have ready to go how nice is that pretty cool you know what I'm going to do a little bit of a variation for you you know how I got excited about that die watch this I've just had a thought let's have a play I'm going to grab um, what am I going to do? I will use, no, I'm going to use this card. So I'm actually going to get this die out. I want to use, actually, we're going to use this one that looks like the waves on here. So I'm going to, we'll do a little alternative for the last what, last project. So I'm going to, actually, I won't cut it yet. I'm going to, I'm just going to get my cut and emboss machine. Let me go a cut and emboss machine. Now this cut and emboss machine, I can't remember actually offhand how much it costs, but it's over $200. You could get this in your starter kit and only pay $169 for it. Plus get more items because you can spend $283. So we'll grab my plates. One plate. And it comes, comes with all the plates that you need. I've grabbed out more than I need. So it comes with the plates that you need. So there's a one, a two, because we're using with thin dies. It explains on the plates what to use. I'll try and put it there. I'll try and put it in the picture. So number one plate, number two plate, that one on the bottom. And then we're going to grab whoops, our piece of card out. And we're going to put it right to the edge because I'm going to use all of this on another card. So waste not, what not. There we go. And then we we'll put this on top. And then just feed it through. So it's a little, it's a handle like that and it will just roll through. We'll make some moans and groans along the way, but it is fine. All right, so we'll just put that over, oh, over here. Oh, yeah, I'll need that too. So what we've ended up with is with this die, Where's my pack? Here it is. 
we have ended up with these pieces. So I'm going to leave it on there because we will grab now a piece of cardstock and I've just got to think about what colours I wanted to use. What was I thinking? Okay, <laughs> what was I thinking? Um, we might use uh, some crumb cake. Crumb cake, now where's that one? Here we go. We use some crumb cake and, oops, I just turned my iPad off. Um, a piece of crumb cake base like that crumb cake base with a pecan pie with our new pecan pie color so i've got a piece here that might work it might not actually all right so we're going to chop this one the crumb cake it's going to cut chop this chop trim whatever at 14.8 which is directly in half and then I use my edge of my trimmer and I just fold that up and that way I get a, a perfect fold each time so that's that crumb cakes another one of my favorites because my my cardstock always seems to disappear off crumb cake so we'll just use the bone folder and score that along like that and I wanted to use this piece of crumb cake I'm just I don't know how big actually I I don't want to I don't want to um, take those pieces apart I'll leave them together and I'll just use this because I want to um, see how much of a border I want to put of this pecan pie so using my trusty pencil I'll just mark there and there just so I get a um, kind of 0.5 mil around that die okay so we will get the trimmer back and we will chop this piece where I mark the line okay and we'll save them might even use them soon What's everybody think about these lovely new neutral colours? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, rip something. Still a great card. Thank you, Sam. Not coffee tonight, guys. Coke. <laughs> the other the other necessary evil. I do, do drink coffee more so, but. So I reckon I like that, but I want to bring a bit of the pool party in as well. So we'll grab the pool party back. And I found that. No, it's over here. And I found it and I lost it. So this one, I actually know how much I'm going to chop this one up. I will chop this one at 10 centimetres. by 14.4 like that now I will kind of let you know if you're a measurement person just to let you know I think I need to change my blade on my trimmer so that can go inside here so this piece that I did did with my pencil actually measures um, 8.7 by um, um, 12.9 that's what that one actually means so that can go on there I just turned that over because I had my pencil mark on it so that's going to go there and then we are going to lay this on here so, whoop, like that. And I've, that's why I've left it there because I want to transfer it straight over. So, 
So what, we, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that off for a second. I'm going to glue this part. Yep, I'll glue this part down. I've got a lot of glues going. I've got a lot of glues open. I think I do it all the time. I've got lots of glues open that I need to just riddle them down. I mean, I've got three, but still, three too many. I only need one going. I need to keep the using the one that's emptier. So we'll just stick that one down. And then I'll put that aside for a second. And I just want to line this up. If I just push that there, and I'd like to just, it looks like it's going to let me, I'm just going to use, just want to make sure that it gives me a clear edge around, which it is going to, a little bit of an edging of where you can see the pecan pie so I know that's pretty good so that one there I want to glue down now you could also use glue dots um, either way and I will use my picker tool to pick it up <laughs> oops that glue come out a little bit too generous like I say a little bit goes a long way Now, I'm doing this for all the card makers out there. They go, nope, don't want a kit. I like to make my own cards. Well, you can make cards, your own cards out of this, which is cool. And then use the, um, I'm going to use some of those die cuts as well. So then we'll go to the next one. Or, like I say, um, you can just buy the card kit and just do the kit. Which I love doing. I usually do do, but I just had I just I had obviously these would come out in my unboxing, and I thought I need to have a go. And and honestly, these dies are awesome with any. I bought them because they will work great with designer series paper, and the designer series paper is on special as well at the moment. So. And design, when you buy a designer, pack of designer series paper, it goes a long way. So if you had these dies as well, um, then it will help you to use, like, use your, your designer series paper differently and make lots of cards out of it. Or even a scrap, this would work good on a scrapbook page as well. Especially a, um, a beachy one. Well... Like I say, it doesn't. It depends on what you cut out to what you can make with this die. So there's that one there. That one's just gonna. It's kind of chose to go somewhere else. That's it. And then this one. Oh, oh, I. Just put that one in there. There we go. And then that, oh. You haven't, oh yeah, you got the dice set but you haven't used them yet. Well, here you go. Grab out your designer series paper, Lisa, and um, get chopping with this die, I say. How cool is it? Like it really, um, that's far too much glue. Let's see if I can just wipe it off quickly. Um, yeah. Ideas are endless with some designer series paper. So then we will use, I'm going to use some of their twine. And I'm going to use one of their, their other glue dots for this. So I'm just going to grab a glue dot. And it's very similar to what the card making kit got us to do. I'm just going to stick that there. And I'm going to have some twine like they did. I might even go three. Now, of course, you can actually buy this twine. Well, this is actually, this is linen thread. So it really is one of my favourites. Um, so if you find that you've used, you use, you know, you do some different cards with it, you can actually buy this twine again because it's called the linen thread. So just going to play, get some more. Oops. So we'll just stick that on the back there. And then that's given us a little bit of, 
some twine down the bottom there. So we'll glue that one down now. I've noticed it's a little bit crooked at the top. Has anyone else noticed it's a bit crooked? If you guys didn't notice, then it's all good. <laughs> I always say to people, when you give a card to someone, they're never, ever going to pick up your errors. And it is so true. Now you've convinced me to get this die. Oh, it's awesome, isn't it? They, oh, wow. They, oh, thank you, Fee. Hello, Fee. How are you? Yes, I was. I made the two one. I made the two ones. I made the two out of the card kit. I'm not sure if you've got that one yet, but I made the two out of the card kit, and then I'm. I got inspired by these dies that I had got on my order, so I'm making that one as well. So we can do. Um, I think still we'll do the enjoy and relax. So I and this time I'm going to do it the way they said to do it. So we'll get this one. And we'll get the stamp set, which is hiding. Where is it hiding? Over here. So I'm going to do the... Um, oh, actually, I might do enjoy your day. I'm going to do enjoy your day on this one. So it's up to you what you do. You can change it up a little bit. There's no rules. Yeah, I think I've seen you use them for you. Yeah, I'm sure I have. So we'll go like that, put enjoy your day on there, oops, like that. Now we're not going to put any string on this one because obviously we've got enough string but I am going to, no I don't want it there, we're going to put it probably like that. Um, and then on this one, we're going to use our chair. I think the chair needs to kind of go there, doesn't it? Yeah, we might have to put that towards the top there because we need our chair and then whatever else goes on this screen. We need one of these. We'll use what was going to go on the card anyway. Um, and one of these. So our this can go up here like that. And that can go there. And then this little piece can go there, I think. That looks good. So we will um, glue these ones down. So I will grab back those dots. We'll turn these all over and try and remember where they go. So we'll just skip some of these on. Oops. Okay, you can stay there. <laughs> it's another one that chose to stay on my cardboard. Are you crafting fee? I don't know. Did anyone say they were crafting? I can't remember. Oh, no problem. Sam, Sam's probably gone. I just saw that she said she um. Um. Was going. Um. Yeah, I'm. I don't think anyone mentioned that they were crafting. I'm staying in my. Room, like I said a bit tonight so I'll put that down and we will get this one and put that there and then we'll get these other ones off all right there we go and I actually wanted to put that behind there didn't I I did I think I still want, can win. Yep, I won. I won. Um, and then we want our sentiment, which I think is here. And we will put some of the, the foam, the ones that lift it up a bit, the ones that make it look like you're professional um, and gives you a little bit more dimension. Just like they're called dimensions. Gives you more dimension on your card. 
and then we will put that one and I'm just going to make sure that those are off the other pecan pie so that you can see through them <laughs> there we go how cool is that oh I like that I do like that that needs a little blue dot under it it's see so th th these blue dots are awesome for this too if you've got a little bit of cardstock that's not playing there we go stick it down especially when you put some twine on things um, yeah that'll just tell it who's boss yeah I like that that's cool well there you go some alternatives that you can do with this boho beach kit um, or just do your boho beach kit so hopefully you liked it um, as I've heard some people have been inspired to go uh, yeah I'm getting that one which is awesome um, I certainly like it and I have got three cards ready to go I actually put a challenge to my team I like to give my team um, challenges each month um, for things they can create and I like to give prizes out to my team but our challenge this month is as as a group we're going to try and hand out and send as many cards as we can and at the end of the month we're going to do a tally and see how much happy mail we have got out there which is going to be exciting to find out i say now just as an fyi the envelopes are a little bit littler so these cards this is the size of card i usually do make and that one's just that little bit littler as you can see so what i was thinking is that this card's not going to fit in this envelope but that doesn't matter i can give that its very own envelope there we go and that envelope and that card oh i like them yeah so like i've said if you want any help with your crafting needs um i'm that's what i'm here for if you don't have a demonstrator that's currently helping you i would love to help you um, and if you're thinking of joining stamping up i would love for you to join my team my team's called the card cutting diamonds um, and i would love to have you aboard um, we have a great great bunch of crafters so i'm just trying to get those in the picture for you um, yeah so there we go so have a great rest of the weekend i usually do go live on a friday night at 8 30 but like i say had a movie date yesterday with the family um so gone to gone live tonight so have a great rest of the weekend which is only one day left um have a safe week stay safe and i will catch you all next friday night see you later bye